What's up students, it's your boy PGT and today I'll be showing you how to make a simple sawdust substrate so you can grow gourmet mushrooms at home. These right here are some king oyster mushrooms I've grown out using this substrate recipe and it's very versatile for growing many different kinds of woodlover mushrooms. Alright, so let's get down to the ingredients. You're going to want uh, wheat bran. Now, this is additional nutrients to our substrate that the woodlover mycelium likes to colonize. You can get away without wheat bran and use plain hardwood pellets if you have to, but I like giving them a boost in nutrients so that I can get a better yield per bag. And you're also going to need hardwood fuel pellets. So I'm using cherry wood fuel pellets here because that's all I can find at my local stores around me. Uh, most hardwood pellets would work just fine. Oak wood is ideal if you have it near you. Uh, just be sure you're buying natural hardwood pellets and not the kind that might have been like sprayed with chemicals on them or something. Just check the ingredients on a bag if you're unsure. Okay, so the recipe I'm following is 5 cups of hardwood pellets to 1.4 liters of water and about 1 cup of wheat bran. And this will make you a 5 pound sawdust rooting block. Now I'm going to be making 2 blocks today, so I'm pretty much just doubling the recipe here. Alright, the first step we're going to do is we're going to rehydrate the pellets. So I go ahead and measure out the pellets that I need and I'm going to put them in whatever container that can fit them. 5 gallon bucket works really well but I just decided to use a tote here for demonstration. And after that, I'll use hot tap water to soak these pellets. Now you can use cold water as well, but things just move a little quicker if you're using hot water. And after pouring the water in, I'm gonna let this sit for about half hour, to let it all soak in. And then when we come back, we're gonna add in our wheat bran and then we'll mix everything up together. Alright, after 30 minutes of soaking, your pellet's going to look something like this. And now what I'm doing here is I'm just breaking apart the pellets so that they're in a much more finer state. That'll make uh, mixing in the wheat bran a lot easier. And plus it's kind of fun to just kind of dig your hand around into the hardwood pellets and just kind of play around with it a little bit. Alright, so now that I've broken apart the pellets, I'm going to add in my wheat bran. And then we're just going to mix everything together. Alright, with everything mixed here, what I like to do is check my substrate for fuel capacity. So what you do is take a handful of them and you squeeze them together. And you just want drops of water to come out. If you have a stream of water coming down, then you have too much water. And if you don't have enough water, you can always add more water. Now there's a broad range when it comes to fuel capacity. Some people like it on the drier side. I prefer to try and get away with more water in there if I can. The well hydrated the substrate is, the better yield that it's going to produce. Right now we're going to put our substrate into fruiting bags and get them ready to be sterilized. I'm using 14A fruiting bags from Unicorn Grow Bags. So just get a little scoop, scoop them into the bag. This is I'm making two bags, I'm just going to divide this evenly in half and get it prepped here. Right now with my bags, I like to give them a wipe down with a clean paper towel. What you want to do is just try to get rid of all the substrate that's sticking onto the side of the bags. I find that that can interfere with the seal of the bag as we're going to pressure sterilize them. Alright, with the bags clean, we're going to fold them up now and get them prepped to be sterilized. Now I like to do the gusset fold on my bags. Now I know flat folding is the better option. Unicorn Grow Bag has a video on the flat fold here on YouTube. If you guys want to check it out and see how to do the flat fold from him. I find this fold here has always worked well for me, so I'm just going to stick with it. Alright, now we're going to load our pressure canner and cook this for two and a half hours at 15 PSI. After it's been about two and a half hours, you want to turn off your pressure canner and just let it cool overnight on its own. Alright, so when you take them out of the pressure canner, you can either inoculate them with grain spawn and use them right away, or if you want to save them, you can just seal the bag up with an impulse sealer and it'll just be ready whenever you want to use it. I would suggest using them like within two weeks after making them. And yeah, that's how you make sawdust substrate. You can use this to grow oysters, king oysters, lion's mane, chestnut mushrooms, takis, and various other wood lovers. 
Alright, so I hope you get something out of this video. Hit like and subscribe if you're interested in more mushroom cultivation. And check out the links down below uh, if you're interested in more additional resources. And until next time, students, this is PGT, signing out.